facts remain. Our reporters are spread out across the region to bring you weather coverage you can count on. We begin with Way 31's Will Robinson Smith. He's live in Russellville after speaking to the Russellville police chief about what conditions are like and what they're expecting overnight. Will. Well, we're here in the heart of downtown Russellville right now. We're at the intersection of Jackson Avenue and Madison Street. And road crews here have been doing a pretty good job about clearing the main intersections here at the heart of downtown. But if you get too much farther beyond where we're standing right now, just beyond the police department here, things can get sloppy on the roads out around town here in Russellville. Now, Russellville Police Chief Chris Hargett says the city crews have been hard at work overnight and throughout the day today to clear the roads around the city. His officers have also been responding to calls of vehicles sliding off the roadways. He said so far today they've had 10 such calls and that's compared to maybe one or two they might get from a normal day of bad weather. Chief Hargett says he's worried though about what the evening and tonight might bring. You know, this is the South, you know, we don't get a lot of experience in this type of stuff, but, you know, a lot of it's just people getting out for unnecessary reasons. You know, if they could just wait maybe another day, you know, I, I, I really think tomorrow we're really going to see a vast improvement. And he pointed out that as recently as one o'clock here, there was some drizzle coming down. And Kate mentioned there was kind of a, a shifting of precipitation that we're seeing throughout the day. And that's kept many of the roads around town wet. And as you can see behind me, in fact, there's a little bit of slush in the middle of the road. But a lot of the roads around here still very slick. And as the chief mentioned, and as Kate reiterates, these roads are going to freeze overnight. So any type of moisture that's on the roads will make it dangerous and create another hazard for black ice and potentially more accidents if you are out on the roads. Reporting live in Russellville, Will Robinson Smith, Way 31 News.